Hey boys and girls, it's your old pal the Moo Cow here, and welcome to an Utter Indie Film Cafe Quick Review Thursday. And this time it's a stinky little gobbler of a movie I found on Tubi called Dinosaur Hotel. And yes, it is about a hotel with dinosaurs, because of course, why wouldn't you have a hotel with dinosaurs in it? Except, in this particular instance, it's about five of the dumbest ladies in England who get a call out of the blue from someone they have no idea who it is and then says, we think that you should come to our hotel called Dinosaur Hotel and be part of a game show. Oh, sure. Okay. Yeah. So these ladies show up and they're told without any details without any information that they're going to be part of a game and that whoever survives the game uh gets a hundred thousand pounds because it's english so it's pounds and they're all like okay sure nobody questions anything nobody tries to find out any details doesn't really matter nobody even asks why is it called Dinosaur Hotel? Seems like an odd choice for a name. No, nobody bothers. So our five girls are Sienna, who's the Burmese actress played by uh, Chrissy Wuna, who's been in a few other movies. Um, then there's Zara, played by Chelsea Greenwood. She's the one with the black top on. There's Laura played by Sophia Lacey. She's the one with the white sweater on. There's Jenny, played by Nicole Maybe. She's the one with the purple top on. <clears throat> and then there's Sam or Samantha, who's played by Kate Sanderson, whom I call Frumpy because she's the frumpiest one of the bunch. And they're all dumb as doornails and they have to survive the night by not getting eaten by the three wandering dinosaurs. There's like a big T-Rex that wanders around outside. There's a medium-sized raptor that runs around on the inside, opens the doors whenever it's convenient, of course. And then there's a pterodactyl which flies around and doesn't really do much of anything. I guess it's there for shits and gigs or to scare people. <clears throat> and to complicate things, Sienna has brought her two children because why not? Why would any mother have take her kids into a situation where she doesn't know where she's going for a game so she's never probably never put in for has no details about and uh sure why not what's the worst that can happen right sure i guess she couldn't get a babysitter so yeah let's let's bring the kids into god knows what so they show up and then there is the games master who is played by alexander john who's got sort of an eastern european kind of um, accent so I have to wonder if he's one of the producers because that's usually how these things work and he's the one who you know has the, the game and he's got this stupid little shitty CGI robot orb that floats around like a tiny little pixie death star and it just very woodenly just says oh the game's about to begin you have to do this you have to do that and just really stupid Speaking of bad, uh, the kids unfortunately get a lot of lines of dialogue in this movie. I was kind of hoping because when initially when she brought them, she's like, well, you'll just stay in the room. And I thought, oh, good. They'll stay in the room. We'll never see them again. Nope. They're there throughout the whole movie. They're not very good actors at all. And hey, I get it. They're kids. But you know what? Kids could be coached up and kids can act if somebody bothers to try or if you manage to find some that have some talent these kids were very very wooden and i just i couldn't stand any scene with them whatsoever their line deliveries were just awful um the special effects were pretty bad i mean the 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 stupid orb was obviously a cgi insert the dinosaurs looked ridiculous they were clearly uh cheap cgi and then the unfortunate moments when they're supposed to be eating somebody it's clearly they're like chomping away at nobody there and then it's it's um juxtaposed with somebody going oh 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 it's just it's bad it's just so bad 
And that's basically the story is they're supposed to survive overnight. Now, the only, um, the only thing that, that complicates it or, or makes a tiny bit of an interesting plot point is one of them, and I'm not going to say which one of them, but one of them is actually a traitor and, uh, you know, is actually working with the games master. And it doesn't, it doesn't really matter because you don't care. I mean, there's these people are so boring and wooden and one dimensional, not even one dimensional. So you just don't care. Um, I will tell you that, unfortunately, Laura, the white sweater chick, goes first. She's the first corpsey. And then, because uh, she just stands there and lets herself get eaten. Same thing with Jenny. Um, she's the one who actually has a little tiny bit of a brain stem. She manages to get outside, runs to the car, gets into the car, and is going to try and drive away. But, of course, that's way too easy. So... The um, evil hotel people have just, dis, you know, disabled the car somehow. No one knows how. And um, so she's not able to drive away. So she has to go back into the hotel. Now, why she couldn't just hide in the car or hide in the trunk where nothing can see or get to her is beyond me because, you know, that would be a safe thing and there'd be no fun for the movie. Instead, she runs back in. And in the meantime, Sienna's kids have run off because, of course, they're dumbass kids and they're running around the outside. And she finds one of them and she tells one of them, Oh, run over there quick and I'll cover you. Which is to say, she stands out there and says, Hey, to the big dinosaur, and then stands there and allows herself to get eaten. So, uh, well done. Thank you, Jenny. And then uh, finally, Sam, the frumpy chick, um, who's too frumpy to climb over a dinette at one point. She just like can't lift her leg more than two inches off the ground uh, when the raptor comes for snackies. But fortunately for her, it's okay because uh, one of the other chicks, I think it was Zara, comes out and finds, a sh finds this rifle. It's a really cheap, shitty, bad FX rifle. I mean, it looks awful. And she just comes up and, and shoots the raptor. So I guess there's multiple raptors there because several of them get shot. You don't actually see it because, of course, that would be money. Um, and it's just this weird, stupid game show that's, you know, the idea towards the end is that, oh, there are hidden cameras and people pay all kinds of money. And it's like the da most dangerous game except it's not because it's not really very dangerous and it's just kind of dumb. And um, since nobody bothers to ask any details, you know, it's not really set in reality. I mean, you would think that a massive T-Rex would be seen and heard, but no, it just pops in and out whenever it wants to. Like, it's like a ninja. No tracks anywhere, no scat, no evidence at all for these creatures. Who the hell, how do they even get there? What the fuck are dinosaurs doing in like a modern England? I mean, none of these questions are even asked, much less answered. It's just ridiculous. It's just, well, nobody cares. Everybody's wondering about if they're going to survive. Believe me, nobody want, nobody cares. It's just so stupid. And um, I don't know, it's just every detail was just ridiculous. And, you know, they, they all run around and try to hide, but of course, they're even terrible at hiding. They'll do things like they'll hide under the table. Well, gosh, they'll never find you there. You know, um, it's not like, you know, remember in The Shining where, where Danny goes running away from his dad and he finds a little cupboard to, to go in and he closes the door and he's like, oh, you know, in a giant hotel, you're not going to be able to look in every nook and cranny. That was smart. You think these people do that? No, they go under the table or they go under a cart, you know, or... They don't do things like find a defensive place like a room with one door and then barricade it. Nobody barricades any of the doors. They just like leave them there and then they just open up because, of course, we all know dinosaurs have opposable thumbs and can just open doors. But I guess one of the game, one of the things that Games Master says is that he he, quote, left the doors open. So I guess that's rigged in the game, too. And, um, <clears throat> you know, it's just it's just so ridiculous. Ridiculous. Every single bit of this movie is just badly done. Um, the acting was pretty pedestrian for the most part. There were a couple of folks who were okay, but for the most part, these characters that they were given were, were they're basically bare sketches. There's no depth to them whatsoever. None of them sort of 
changes or, or goes through any kind of um, improvement, you know, they, uh, they come across obstacles and they either die or somebody else does, somebody else somewhere else does something and they manage to get away. You know, it's just dumb. It's really, really bad. It was uh, an ITN movie, of course. This is where a lot of shitty um, Brit movies are coming from these days. Uh, it was made in 2021, and it is the directorial debut of Jack Peter Mundy, who has, I guess, since gone on and directed a couple of other things. But um, this was his first offering, and um, you got to wonder, dude. It's like, you know... Did you look at the script and say, yeah, this is the movie I want to do? Or did you just kind of say, yeah, whatever. Doesn't really matter. What the hell? And um, yeah, it was just badly done. I, you know, part of me wanted to save this one for Indie Film Cafe. But um, unfortunately, the other thing about it is that it's very, very boring. There's, you know, any opportunity of tension is gleefully shredded. And um, so there's really nothing to say that's good about this film. So it would be pretty boring even for IFC. So I figured, eh, I may as well do this for a short review Thursday. I can do a short review and we'll be done. And if anybody's looking for a stinky movie that's on Tubi or YouTube, if you've got a dinosaur itch you want to scratch, especially if you really like bad CGI dinosaurs, this is your movie. So that's about it. It's pretty much a, a stinker. And um, yeah, I mean, it's not even a fun stinker. It's just a dumb stinker. And um, that's even worse. But there you go. I think that will wrap this one up for Short Review Thursdays. Thank you very much. And uh, one of us will be back at some point with another movie to review here on Indie Film Cafe. And uh, The Monkey and I will see you next time. Alrighty, bye.